So when we look at atheism, for example, what's atheism all about? Well, atheism is the belief there was once absolutely nothing and nothing happened to the nothing until the nothing magically exploded for no reason, creating everything and everywhere. Then a bunch of the exploded everything magically rearranged itself for no reason whatsoever into self-replicating bits, which then turned into dinosaurs. And they mock your beliefs. So this is the view of atheism. This is what atheism believes, that, that everything came into existence uncaused, no, no meaning, no purpose, and so forth. So this is just an example that I'm just putting out there to show you that this is one of the many worldviews that we see in our world. Now, the important questions of life, these are the three most important questions of life. Everyone has asked this question. People are still asking this question today. And these are questions that need to be asked of those who in the West are trying to push this social justice ideology. To them, it, it's, again, remember, the source of social justice is Marxism. And as we've already seen, the Marxist worldview is an anti-God, it's an atheistic, anti-God, anti-Christian, anti-family, nuclear family worldview. And so if you remove God out of the picture and remove Christ out of the picture, well, what are we left with? Well, remember in my first lecture, I made reference to the German philosopher, Friedrich Nietzsche. And he talked about the advance of nihilism the destruction of all objective meaning and, and morality and purpose in life. Well, you see folks, if there is no God, then there is no purpose, there is no meaning, there is no morality that is objective. And so these three questions are very important. And these are questions that we need to ask people who are, who are trapped in, inside this movement. Where did I come from? And why am I here? And where am I going? These are questions that science cannot answer. Science can only tell you about what it can see, what it could tabulate, uh, they could, it could observe, it could examine, it could put experimentation through and, and so forth. But science cannot answer these questions. These are not scientific questions. These are questions pertaining to the origin of life, the purpose of life and the future. Where did I come from? origin. Why am I here? What's my purpose in life? And where am I going? That is destiny. Is there life after death? Or is it just the end of all things? Do we just cease to exist at the end? Or is there something beyond death? Is there, is there a heaven to gain? Is there a hell to shun? Or is there reincarnation where the soul simply goes through various rebirths, and cyclical rebirths and so forth? And the reason why I bring this up is that this is a very important point in the Christian message. In addition to our Christian testimony and, and preaching the gospel of Christ, we, we want to provoke our hearers to, to deep thought. We want to ask these three fundamental questions. And ultimately, what answers these questions is, once again, if I can just go back here, is it's our worldview. It's how you see the world. That's, that's what determines how you answer these three questions. And so these are fundamental questions. And most people who are caught up in this movement uh, are people that don't see any meaning or, or purpose in life. And, and, and they see it as just an act of uh, standing up for, for, uh, for uh, the marginalized, standing up for those who are oppressed. But the moment you talk about oppression and so forth, you are attaching some value to human life and attaching some meaning uh, to human life. Well, what are some of these important questions? And this, this ties in with a lot of, of what we see going on in, in, in our world, particularly in the West, with, with this social justice movement. Is there a God? That's a very important question. Is there a God? And the answer to that question is either yes or no. Either there is a God or there isn't a God. There is no middle answer. Either God exists or he doesn't exist. And this has profound implications. Because you see, if God exists, then, then God is our creator. God is our moral judge. And that means that it's God who defines us, not ourselves. And how does God define us? He doesn't define us as groups like your LGBT 
LGBTQ group here, or you're Black Lives Matter over here, or you're, you're part of this uh, white race over here, and you're part of this group over here, and you're more oppressed than that person. No, God doesn't define us by groups. God defines us whether we are in Adam or in Christ. God defines us by way of reference to an individual. If we don't know God, we are in Adam. And if we are in Adam, we will die. But if we are in Christ, we will live. We will have eternal life. We will share in God's eternal glory because of what he has done for us in Christ. And if it's God who defines us, then if God defines us as his image, <clears throat> then that means that all humans are equal. And, it, and if God defines us as sinners, all have sinned and come short of God's glory, then that means that, that all people are guilty before a holy God. It doesn't matter what skin color you are. At the end of the day, it's not about, it's not about race. And it, it's about grace. It's not about skin. It's about sin. All humans are sinful, and all humans have the potential to do the most wicked things imaginable. And that is not defined by skin color. It's defined by sin. If you think of, for example, in Rwanda, uh, the, the, the Rwandan uh, massacres that took place were done by one African tribe against another African tribe. And that's due to sin. It's not due to some idea of racism, even though that may play a part in the sense that there, there was this um, hatred between various tribes. But if God defines us as sinful, then we all stand condemned before him. What does it mean to be human? What does it mean to be human? Is it about being an oppressed person or oppressor? Are we divided into oppressor or oppressed? Or does it mean that human beings are collectively condemned before a holy God. All have sinned and come short of God's glory. Romans 3.23. There is no one who does good, no, not one. What does it mean to be human? It means you're God's image. But it also means that you are not just an animal. You are the image of your creator. And it also means you need to get right with him. And the only means to get right with him is by repentance and looking to him. What's wrong with the world today? Well, the social justice warriors will tell you it's Christianity and Western civilization and the patriarchy. That's what's wrong with the world. And how are we going to change that? We need to topple Christianity, destroy the church, and destroy democracy and Judeo-Christian beliefs like the U.S. Constitution and the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms and so forth and so on. Well, from the Christian point of view, what's wrong with the world is, is not oppressor versus oppressed. It's not Christianity. It's, it's not the, the ruling class and, and the working class, as Karl Marx thought. What's wrong with the world is we are in rebellion against God. And we need the remedy. The remedy is Christ. And that leads us to the solution. What's the solution? The solution is we need to repent and get on our knees. And we need to give our lives over to the Lord Jesus Christ and receive forgiveness of sins, and be reconciled to God. That's the solution. What is the solution for Islam? To fight and to kill so that Islam will become triumphant throughout the world. What is the solution of communism? To, again, take over the world, make everything communist. What is the solution for the, the various groups that we see in the social justice movement? Power. Power to take over. And what's the purpose to life? Well, the purpose to life, we know as Christians, is to love God and enjoy him forever. But the purpose to life for these groups is to, again, topple the ones they perceive to be enemies and to create a socialist state. And so, folks, these questions are, are fundamental questions. They need to be asked. 